Um, if you go back to PCs, um, now I, I know a lot of people have, especially if you're using the Linux analogy, you know, people don't necessarily consider Windows to be maximally open, but compared to the um, the Apple approach of, of kind of coupling your operating system with um, with the device, the Windows approach was a more open ecosystem, and it won. And part of my hope for the next generation of platforms, which includes both AI and the work that we're doing in augmented and virtual reality, is to, you know, Meta wants to be on the side of building the open ecosystems. And it's not just that we want to build something that's an alternative to the closed ecosystem. I want to restore the industry to the state where the open ecosystem is actually the one that is leading. Um, so I think it's possible. I, I think we'll, uh, you know, I think we're, we're making good steps on that in both AI and AR and VR. Uh, but but that's something that I just personally and philosophically care about, given the the kind of limits on on creativity that I, I've felt have, have sort of been applied to to our industry by the closed model of, of mobile development over the last 10, 15 years. I want to go deeper on that point that you just mentioned of restoring the industry to the state where the open ecosystem is the one that's leading. Um, and so obviously right now we have Llama 3.1, 405B just came out. It's competitive and it even beats some of the best closed models across key benchmarks, which is insane in its own right. Uh, but in your letter, you also mentioned that Llama 4 is, is expected to become the most advanced model of the industry. Are there any specific things about Llama 4 that you're really excited about? Oh man, I mean, it's, um, you know, we're just doing 3.1 for, for, for Llama now. I, I think it might be a little early to, to talk about Llama 4, but, um, but we've got the compute cluster set up. Um, we've got a bunch of the data set up. We, we kind of have a sense of what, what the, the architecture is going to be and, and, and have run a bunch of research experiments to, to kind of max that out. So I, I do think that, um, Llama 4 is going to be another big leap on top of Llama 3. I think we have, um, a bunch more progress that we can make. I mean, this is the first dot release for Llama. Um, there's more that I'd like to do, um, including launching the uh, the, the multimodal models, um, which we we kind of had an unfortunate setback on 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 that. Um, but but I think we're going to be launching them probably everywhere outside of the EU, um, uh, hopefully over the next few months. But um, yeah, probably a little early to talk about Llama 4, but but I, it is going to be awesome. And it has been one of the interesting things in running the company is basically planning out the compute clusters and data trajectories for not just Llama 4, but you know the next um, probably four or five versions of Llama. Because, I mean, these are long lead time investments to 